My name is Susie Rollins Weaver. My great 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 grandfather was one of the founders of Lancaster. So when the tornado hit in 94, my father called from California and said, are they going to bulldoze our buildings? And I said, no, Daddy, our buildings are standing. So I just felt like you just don't let something die. And we had gone to West Texas and seen so many boarded up towns. And I wasn't ready for Lancaster to be boarded up. And so, yes, I think the square's worth fighting for. We have a jewel here. There are people that moved to Lancaster because of the square. Thank you. Take care. I will. All right. I, I definitely will. Okay. I didn't get into the bicycle business until 2003 and then finally three years ago decided to have a shop here but I wanted to be able to walk up with the dog, wanted something kind of old world and this space came open and I, I thought this was perfect. And then we got this one. <laughs> Some people say to me, John, why, you know, why are you doing that? You could, if you want, if you got to work, you could make a lot more money somewhere else. Yeah, but that's not the point. If you're mature enough or in touch enough with your abilities and desires at the time, which I wasn't for decades, but it, the, the point is to really enjoy the process and the, the profitability, the money tends to follow that, not necessarily in great gobs, but if you really enjoy the process, you know, I've, you enjoy life. And um, I'm enjoying my life more now than I ever have. The Sassy Spinster is Susan Filgo. I am third generation from Lancaster was away for many number of years and when I moved back to Lancaster I decided to keep working but work in, a, in an area that I truthfully loved and that was spinning and weaving. Well, Squares, when I was growing up, was a meeting place because we had the active movie theater. You had a drugstore that had a fountain so you could go in and get a, a lime coke or a cherry coke or an ice cream cone. There was the hardware store, the feed store, so it was the hub of Lancaster, Texas. See, there's your little black dot. Mm -hmm. So you want to stop right there. I put a very strong emphasis on natural fibers. I go to people who have spinners flocks that they raise. Um, we have an open table concept. It's very popular on the weekends where we solve all the problems of the world. I do have a whistle that sometimes I'm required to use when we get a hot button topic during an election time because I have room. I have a Republican area, a Democratic area, and a small area for the Tea Party and a corner for the Libertarians. So once in a while I will have to blow the whistle and then we all take a deep breath and go back to open discussion.